Uh, my name is Tom DeLong. Most people know me as the founder of the popular rock and roll band called Blink-182. I started a company called To The Stars that eventually became To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science. We are literally the group that is responsible for why you read about UFOs in the papers today without all the stigma. It's the first time that we had the videos properly declassified. And because of that, then we had information as far as altitude and speed, uh, eyes on target, different radar systems, different um, sensors that all corroborated what was happening. So that gave us the ability to dissect these videos and really have an understanding of what was going on. I think this is gonna cause our government and mankind to really wake the hell up and start looking at things that we never really even saw. That was in front of our noses the whole time. To suggest that aliens are hovering around the planet in flying saucers or any sort of unidentified aerial craft, that suggests what? That they're either they're among us or they have some sort of moon base, right? To, to actually spell out this hypothesis scientifically you have to go so far that then you you stick that explanation up against these very common explanations we have for ufos and uaps the astronomical explanations which is that it's a planet or a star or a meteor or a satellite the civilian explanations that it's a balloon or it's a kite you know the natural explanations that it's flocks of birds or it's ice crystals or even the the human brain explanation which is that it's the autokinetic effect. The ET hypothesis makes no sense whatsoever. You know, it's kind of like a bunch of cows are on the ground and they see these F-18 jets flying over. Like the cow is like, oh, it must be coming from a farm over there. <laughs> it's not thinking about like countries and Air Force bases and whatever. So I think we're a little bit like that. You know, we're like cows and we're like, oh, it must be coming from Mars. <laughs> you know, it's just like, we're thinking so different. And I think an advanced uh, intelligence is manipulating frequency, electromagnetics, um, gravity when it applies, um, time, um, you know, and consciousness. I don't look at this and think ET. I look at these as displacement craft that are coming from parallel realities. And that is, is a really crazy thought. My personal belief is that we're going to find the answers looking in that way.